when drawing the window symbol on a floor plan at a scale of 1 to 50, if that's the gap that the window is supposed to fit into, and on this side over here is the inside of your house, then you would first of all go and draw a line across that gap at the back with that line facing the inside of your house. Then you would go and draw in two lines, one millimeter apart and centered on the wall to indicate the window frame which you would be able to see from the top Okay, and it would look like that. So at a scale of 1 to 50, those lines must be 1 millimeter apart and they must be centered on your wall. Okay, then you need to include the windowsill and a scale of 1 to 50. What we normally do with the windowsill is we draw a we draw a 1 millimeter overhang to indicate the windowsill. So you would draw in and extend the rectangle to look like that and that distance there at a scale of 1 to 50 is going to be 1 millimeter. So that is the symbol used for all windows on a floor plan at a scale of 1 to 50. Now when drawing in a symbol on a floor plan for a door First of all, you need to know that the standard distance for the opening of a doorway on a floor plan is 900 millimeters, which means at a scale of 1 to 50, the distance from that side of the wall to that side of the wall will work out to being 18 millimeters, which is simply taking 900 divided by 50. So your door opening is 900 millimeters, and then we're going to draw in a small square on each of the two walls to indicate the door frame and a scale of 1 to 50 all you're going to see is going to be a small square which must be one millimeter by one millimeter at a scale of 1 to 50 so you'll draw out a square on either end and please make sure that it is one millimeter by one millimeter. It mustn't be bigger, bigger, it mustn't be smaller. So that's all that you'll indicate for a door frame when drawing the door symbol at this scale. Then you take your set square and you're going to measure out the same distance that you've got here. You're going to measure out going up over there. But sometimes it's actually just easier to do with your compass. If you take your compass and you place your compass down over there on that opening and then simply go and draw in an arc from that corner. And then what we're going to do is go and draw a line which doesn't quite touch the end of that square but does meet up with the arc. And that line now indicates your door. At a scale of 1 to 50, we do go and add in a thickness to that of 1 millimeter. So you'll have a door symbol which will look like this. Okay, which has got to be a distance of 1 millimeter apart from those two lines. So these two little squares over here representing the door frame are one millimeter by one millimeter. And then this distance here is one millimeter. And the distance from the end of the door to that end over there, you simply take your compass, place it on that corner and make that arc to be able to go and draw that in. And there must always be a little gap shown over there between the door frame and the door. Okay, because of course your door frame and your door connected by a hinge. So those two must never touch when you draw the symbol. And then at the end, once you've done that, you take your compass back to that point and go and draw that arc in dark because that arc indicates your door swing and must always be included in your symbol. 
So that would be what your door symbol should look like at a scale of 1 to 50.